Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is really a, an I'm like at loss for words, because with me right now is DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, a two-time inductee here at the Cauliflower Alley Club. Your speech today was so moving. You got, you got emotional, but how could you not get emotional? You're around your family. You know, uh, a lot of my, my people who do DDP yoga, people are like serious transformations. Like people, I, I didn't just help them lose weight. I helped them own their lives. And it's just given certain people who, you know, lost hope when you can turn around and give hope. There was a guy here tonight. <clears throat> we just got done watching the resurrection of Jake the Snake, uh, which we premiered at Slam Dance. And that movie is really strong and powerful. We'll probably be releasing it sometime this fall. And uh, this guy walks up to me after the pr uh, premiere. Big kid, you know, about 40, um, 200, excuse me, 320 to 330 pounds. He said, Diamond, he said, uh, I love your workout, man. He goes, I've been doing it religiously. Uh, I've lost 190 pounds in wow. eight in eight months. Wow, wow. Now, I'm not really going to believe that when someone tells me that. So I said, do you say you lost like 140 pounds in a year? He said, no, I lost 190 pounds in eight months. Now I have this site called Team DDP Yoga. Uh -huh. And when you get the program, you're invited to that. It's like 58,000 some odd people on there, maybe like 10,000 are really active though. Yeah. I said, is there any way you signed up on Team DDP Yoga after you got the program? Yeah, I did. I have these six pictures that you take. It's about your physiology, your flexibility, and your core strength. Right. You can't fake that. Right. I said, is there any way you took those six pictures? He said, yeah, I did. So I went back on Team DDP Yoga. Yeah. I looked him up. Mm -hmm. And eight months ago, he had, you can't fake this because it's like registered, right. like time goes on, you know? Right, right. You can't go back right. and like make this happen. Right. He had the most complete opening journal about, you know, because he had seen a disabled veteran wow. that I helped. Wow. He saw what was possible. He had the plan on how to eat, what to do for a workout, because my workout is kick-ass cardio. Right. But there's no impact. Right. It increases your flexibility while it's strengthening your core. So right. anyone, if you can bend over and pick up your keys or reach up and change a light bulb, right. you can do the workout. This guy wrote details wow. of how he was going to change his life. And then you can go back and update it. And then he had done after right. one, done, right. two, done. Wow. And that guy yeah. came to my workshop here in Vegas on just the other night. He's down, now he's down 240 pounds Whoa. in one year is next week. Does he have any more to go, or did yeah, he hit yeah. his? Yeah, he was 520 pounds wow. when he started. Oh my God! And I had another guy who was 448 pounds, who uh, is one year anniversary today. He's down 183 pounds. Wow! So I mean, this isn't like just losing weight. No. And this workout was never about losing weight. It's right. about it's about healing my body. That's what it was about. Right. They're not only healing their body, but they're changing the course of their life by improving the confidence in themselves so that's in a nutshell pretty much what i've been doing really the whole time i was wrestling it just moved into a whole different level today well okay so i've done your ddp yoga you have i have awesome. yes yes and you called it the right name very good <laughs> don't Thank ever you. call it yoga it's not I, I developed it for people who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga you know so yeah and oh, you know what it, you're it's it's yoga for the working man that's yeah. what it feels like and it's it's easy to follow it's fun you, you make it macho and and i have to tell you i loved it it was awesome. it was great we're talking about like personal empowerment uh you mentioned a zig ziglar quote i immediately yeah. related to it is he a mentor for you not really i just think he said a lot of really strong things right. <laughs> you right. know i think he said a lot of really tony tony robbins yeah. more of a mentor for me okay but ziglar he just said a lot of really profound things right. and uh you know i gravitated to that and you know you, you really think oh i keep helping people i keep helping people i keep helping people and nothing's coming back it's just like breathe and keep helping people because yeah. it's gonna come back. 
Yeah. You, one you, one you, person on YouTube wrote, yeah. DDP is a karma millionaire. And oh. I just started laughing. I'm thinking, wow. I, you know, I'm you like, can wear that, right? Hell you yeah. own that, right? Yeah, I, I, well, I, I do. And like, I'm one of those people that's not afraid to die. And I'm not afraid to die because I feel like I've lived a pretty damn full life. Right. You know, and if I died right. tonight, well, you heard it last right here. You have a really good <laughs> scoop then. Know, right? <laughs> Let's not hope that ever yeah. happens. I'll tell you, DDP, you had mentioned, um, you had said a word that I immediately stuck to when you were talking about these young guys changing their lives. You said the word, it's possible. And when people realize that things are possible, they can do anything. It's like a personal belief. Uh, is that something that you're, is, is that part of the philosophy? Is that part of what your coaching strategy is you to know, your guys? And, and so it's a great point you made there because with DDP Yoga, I took all the spiritual mumbo jumbo out because right. my group of people don't want to hear that. Right. But they do want to hear, yes, you can do that. Yes. No, don't look at the mountain. Don't look at the, you know, let's say right. weight or your body so beat up. Don't look at that. Look down and put one foot in front of the other. And if you just keep being consistent, working forward. You know, there, there's a guy named Randy Posh. Uh, it was, he was a teacher at Carnegie Mellon. Yeah. And he taught a class called The Last Lecture. And all of his students would get up there and basically give their eulogy. Oh my God. And then he yeah. got pancreatic cancer. And then you're dead. Like if you have pancreatic cancer, if he couldn't beat it, as of right now, it can't be beat. Right. But he did The Last Lecture. In his version, I recommend to anybody, look up Randy Posh, The Last Lecture, and watch his whole, you know, hour and 17 minute bit. Or if you need to like flash, 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 watch him on Oprah. He did it in 10 minutes. And there's one thing that he, that he said that really stuck with me. And I give it to people all the time. You know, God doesn't put those walls up in front of you to keep you out. God puts those walls in front of you to make sure how much you really want it. Right. Like how bad do you want to get, you're not going to go through the wall. So try to go back and try to jump over the wall or go around the wall or go under the wall. Is it going to take longer? Yes. It took a long time for me to become a really great wrestler. It took a long time. It took even longer because, you know, I didn't develop DDP yoga for the yogis. I developed for people who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga. So. I've always taken the path less traveled, but in this scenario, there was no path. So I got out a bulldozer and I knocked down one tree and another until I made one more believer after another, after another. Before you know it, I had a path. Now I got a road. Now I got a highway. You know, because other people are knocking down those trees for me. Because they're going, 20% of our sales, people who invest in DDP yoga, 20% every day is friends and family. Wow. Every single day. Sometimes wow. I've been as high as 38 percent. Right. Crazy. Oh my God. You know, this is a man. Okay. Are you like blown away by this interview? Did you get this totally crazy? Uh, this man breathes belief into people every day, and you are changing lives, and you are on a mission. You know your path. It's been such a pleasure just to talk to you. I mean, I. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> you have answered every question so beautifully. Uh, it has been such an honor. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say tomorrow. Tomorrow you're winning another award. No, uh, to be perfectly honest, I have no idea yeah. what I'm going to say tomorrow. Right. I mean, none at all. Yeah. Um, but I have so many amazing stories. It's right. like, which are the ones that make the most sense to get me to this spot? that entertains everyone because I'm already right. entertained as hell for being here. Yeah. So I yeah. want to entertain tomorrow. Yeah. I want people to be laughing their ass off, oh. you know, yeah. and the stories from Dusty Rhodes yeah. to Jake Roberts to, yeah. you know, yeah. Scott Hall to all of them, yeah. you know, it's just like, I've got a lot of stories. I'm, I'm a decent storyteller. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, this, <laughs> this is Little Egypt, one giant humongous mark marking out right now on the spot with DDP. <laughs> oh my God. Diamond Dallas, page thank you so very very much it's been a pleasure been a i pleasure just like you. love this man um again for after buzz studios out in los angeles this is little egypt and we're gonna what Make buzz you feel the buzz bang <laughs>